They came in. We've got it. We're going to do a whole unpacking and setting up video. And it's going to be wonderful, I hope. If it works well, the lady of the house and I will be very happy. Especially since we'll be able to trust the little ones to load this thing up. All right, here it is. I don't know how to pronounce that. Capus, Capus, uh, uh, countertop dishwasher. Ugh, not too heavy, actually. Not bad. I was expecting it to be a little more than that. Of course, I shouldn't have. It said it was 26 pounds or something like that. So not too bad. Pretty big for a small counter, but if you got a small kitchen, better than having to take up a whole cabinet. Wrapper off of there. There we go. Get this box out of the way so the camera lady can come take a close look. So here's the front. On the back, we have this. Almost nothing. We got a cord. <coughs> and let's see, we have. More stuff up that we don't need to be seeing. <laughs> and then we have, oh, so it tells you the power requirements here. Zoom out in here. So voltage, 120. Um, standard stuff, 900 watts. Okay, 900 watts of power. And this little piece of plastic off there. Of course, that's where you put the water in. Can you take a look up there? Okay, it's got a little screen on there. And... Uh, Plug this thing in. Wow, it looks so fancy. Oh, did you hear that? It went bing and the power came on. All right, let me get this other. Oh gosh, nails would work sometimes, but I don't have any, sadly. Bad habits and all. All right. Ooh. And by golly, there is water inside of there. Hope that doesn't mean it was previously used. Ew. Let's see. It doesn't look like it. I mean, there's water in there, but that might have been from a test cycle, perhaps. All the stuff has its wrapping on it. All the tape's still on. Oh, you, you can move the camera around. Okay. So let me wrap up my skizzers. This off of here, so they they even include. Look at this. They even include a measuring cup thingy to get your water to back up a little bit to uh, to to add water to the top, right? Because remember, this doesn't require a water hookup. You can just put the water in here and dump it in. Cool. So we'll set that right there. Come back to it. And uh, so they have a bin that you can put various things in. To wash and uh, here is one of the hoses I just dropped the other one all right so let's roll this I'm trying to go as fast as I can so this video isn't unnecessarily long but I also don't want to leave anything out if that makes sense so let's get that. there we go kind of almost there we go we got that one this is the drain hose. All right. And it's got a little clip right on there, a little hose clamp. Let's see how this all goes together. We'll slide this back in here for now. I'll take the wrapping off of that later. And I bet this is the fancy little hookup for the sink. So we don't have to run another water line. Here's your little filter. Here's the sink thing. Let's see if I can figure out how to get that off. I really was hoping I wouldn't have to stop the video, but I think I need to go get a crescent wrench to pause it. All right, so we got a pretty standard faucet. It says it works with most it. Really? Really crescent wrench? Really? Look. This is hilarious. Couldn't they make us uh, just a little bit wider? I pause it. All right, we switched to channel locks. It's got flattened out sides here and here. 
Hopefully not trying to break this thing because everything's made out of plastic nowadays. So I squeeze too hard, I'll break it. This thing looks kind of gross anyway, like, ew. I need to clean the bottom of this thing. Come on. There it goes, come on. There she goes. Definitely need to clean that off. It's clean on the where the water actually comes out, so that's good. I'm not too grossed out, but... All right, so that comes apart. Grab a rag and at least... Of course, the drag, rag's dirty, too. Everything's filthy! That helps mm. a little. A little water on the floor never hurt anything, unless it's wooden and starts to rot. <laughs> All right. Uh, where was the new pieces? Or where were the new pieces? Boy, my English. All right. You get on me about it. So let's it. put that there. And then it looks like this one's the right size to go there. Oh, yeah. Now, it didn't come with any Teflon tape, but um, probably a good idea for you all at home. My guess is this might leak a little bit. Um, I'll have, probably have to go back and put some Teflon tape in. And then we just have a push connector. So that when you're using the just the regular sink, you're good to go. And then when you want to switch to hook up your dishwasher, you just click it on like that. I like that. Nice, easy release. Now, it did do away with my aerator feature, though. So it's no longer aerating, but I never really liked that thing anyway. Um, so there we go. We've got that in. We have this, which will go there. My water system, can you get back a little bit? You're allowed to move around, camera lady. Uh, I don't want to get that dirty, although that's the drain, so it doesn't matter. <sighs> water supply line. Let's see. They're the same on both sides. It looks like a standard three-quarter inch, um, like a garden size. This has got the rubber seal, so I don't need to worry about Teflon tape on that, because it's going to get a good push fit on that, if I don't cross the right at least. I don't think I did. It stopped awfully quick, though. So we'll go back later and tighten that up. But that will just click on right there. And then this would go on to the back of your machine. Now the cool part, though, I don't have to do that if I don't want to. And for right now, you know what? I don't want to. So I was just doing that to demonstrate, okay, that that would hook there and it would go... Does it go? Where does it go? <laughs> right here. See that? So you'd pop that off and it'd screw right on the bottom. All right, so if you wanted to have it hooked up. But I'm thinking maybe, and I don't know, we haven't tried it yet. It might be easier just to use this. And you put the water in and you dump the water, you fill it up on the machine, okay? So you put it in hot water, and I think it's got a heating element on it too, to, to pull that up. So really the only connection you have to make is your drain hose. Not that one. Where'd my drain hose go? There it is. Where have I just left it? So let's see about that one. That's probably also in the back, I hope. Yep. Same side over there. Oh, gosh. All right. I'm going to need the clamp for that side. This one's got a little suction cup to put on the inside of your sink, and I'll show you that in a second. Only get close when, close when you need to be close, Mackenzie. Or whoever your name is. Ha! Ah. All right. So, pretty easy. Just throw that up there. All the way, seat it. Push that up. And then grab your favorite device. I'm going to go ahead and use my crescent wrench. Oh, it takes a Phillips head too. That's nice. So you can just use a Phillips head. I can hand crank that a little bit to get that tightened down a little bit. And then, oh boy, a little tight here, a little tight. I'm going to want to switch to a screwdriver. Yeah, I think I've got one over here somewhere. Do one right back. All right, just the right size too. And you just tighten that down so it doesn't come flying off or cause a leak. 
still trying to hut, rush, so I am knocking stuff over like crazy. All right, so you've got that attached. And it's a good idea, obviously, to have it the other way. Oh my goodness, I gotta loosen it. I'm gonna turn it the other way, if I can, without ruining it. Because my sink goes the other way. Ah. See, sometimes when you hurry, you just end up taking longer and looking like an idiot on YouTube. That's okay, it's not my first time looking like an idiot on YouTube. Well, that's really not clamped down at all tight, but it doesn't want to turn because it's dry. So that rubber isn't lubricated to turn. Ah, come on. It's going, it's just going a little at a time. Oh. Okay, that's close enough. Turn this back around here. And tighten it back down. You can see obviously it wasn't really going anywhere, but, but tighten that down so that if it encounters any kind of pressure, it won't come loose. Right, get the tools out of the way. Run this around back. And then what I was saying before, it's got a suction cup. And actually I like that it wants to do that because I don't need all that much space. I can put that right there if I want. That's holding pretty solid too. So it'll discharge to that spot. I don't like it having to go up and then back down necessarily. So let me get it on the right side of the power cord so it can stay low. There we go. And then I, I mean, you could even have it like, like that, I guess. I don't know. I'll figure that out later. Okay. All right. And it's, it's hooked up. I mean, that's that's all you're supposed to have. Ooh, that's not good. We don't want that turned up. We want that turned down so that we don't make a big old mess. We'll have to play with that, too, and see how, how we like that. So let me take these, take these pieces of tape off. Clean that up later. It's a cleaning machine, but I'm making a mess putting it in. I love that. Alright. This one, I forget where this one was made. Hopefully it's like South Korea or something, not China. Uh, Alright, I think I got that cleared off. So as the water under pressure gets pushed out those nozzles, it spins it, of course. Like a standard uh, washing machine, dishwasher. And then to clean out your, your filter, I think you just turn this, pop that out, so that gets your big stuff. Uh, sometimes the kids or, or even me or the wife leave uh, corn or other vegetables on there. That'll catch the big stuff. And then this should just pop right out to clean any of this other junk out and to clean off your mesh filter. Pretty easy. Pretty simple. I like that. And I don't have to bend over to get to it because it's on top of the countertop. So that's pretty nice. Uh, you've got a rack up here for your silverware. Um, I think they, they say, oh, look, you can do vegetables and or fruits. So I guess you could throw grapes up there or something. I don't know. Cherry tomatoes or, or kids' um, pacifiers or something like that. So that's what that's for. Looks like I can put that in this way. It's got the handle on this side. Um, so that's the right way, I suppose. And let's close this. Let's just run... Let's try running a load. Let's turn the hot water on. That'd be better, right? Hot water's good to do dishes with. Um, I don't even know if we have dishwashing detergent because we've been using this one. So, you know, Dawn, I don't think Dawn works with that. I don't know. I'll have to look. I think they recommend using powder. So let's see if the water's hot yet. Jeopardy music in your head. Doobie doobie. Doobie doo. Doo 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 doo. Na 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 na. It's the worst thing you could possibly be doing with your time unless you're considering a countertop dishwasher. All right, so it says, please remove large feet of uh, food scraps before before put that's good english before putting the tableware in the machine so clearing out the last load before getting a new one 
I don't want to spill too much, so let me get rid of that actually a little bit. Ooh, this is what I was wondering about. Will it spill all over the place when I pour into that little filter they have on top? Will it splatter, make a mess? Hey, it doesn't. I, that, I was legitimately wondering if that, that just pouring the water in would make a mess. And I'm not going super slow, but I'm not going terribly fast either, and it seems to be doing just fine. All right, so pour the water in, and it says, how much do I need? A little water remaining inside the machine is normal. Probably That's probably where it was there for a test wash. I'm going to put a little more water in. Capas or capas? No clue. Or capas? Or capas? I don't really have a clue either. How many minutes is this video already? My goodness. 16. 16 minutes! I doubt anybody will make it through. They might skip ahead. That'd be all right. Okay. Let's see. Cool sound. Uh, let's okay. We'll just do an eco mode since that's what it's set to. It's got standard, quick, eco, strong, or you can do fruit wash. I like that. It's got a dry function of some sort. It's probably why it's 900 watts. It's probably got a heating element in it, right? So we'll say play. And now we just watch the fun, hopefully. But it's beeping at me like there's something wrong. It says, add more water, you dummy. Maybe. I hope that's what it says. Or too much. Too much, you think? Uh. No. Maybe I have to, like, select something. Look at me just adding more water like an idiot. <laughs> Gonna break it the first day we get it. Oh, no. If it's engineered at all, well, that wouldn't break it. Let's see. Please remove before use. I guess the sticker, I'm not gonna remove it. I wonder if it's trying to draw water through like the faucet as if it were hooked in. Or maybe it had a sensor that this was not attached. Nope, that's not it. Did you guys notice that I never looked for instructions? Pause it. We'll see if we can figure it out. So we're just adding more water. I think that's all it was. We checked the error message and it says either connect water or make sure the tank's full. Well, the tank probably wasn't full. So we're just... Feel, oh, oh, it just turned white saying, hey, I've got enough water. Good. And it's starting to run. We're all just watching... Anticip with, with anticipation, what will it do? Hopefully it'll start spraying some water soon. Oh, oh, listen. I see water coming down the sides of the walls. Oh, and I see water coming out of the... somewhere. Not spraying with much force. Oh, there it goes! Hey! All right. Well, that's pretty cool. Um, let's see if we can inter interrupt the cycle, since we can see that it works, obviously and have it discharge. I want to see it discharge, and you probably do too. So, um, power? No, pause? Okay, pause. Dry, maybe? And then, <laughs> I don't think it listened to, oh, I just turned the dry cycle on, so when it's done, Pause first and then power? Power off? Maybe? Question mark? 
plug in, touch power, turn on, touch the selector. Yeah, mm hmm, yeah, mm hmm. I think it just really wants to finish the cycle. Let's see if I open this, if water comes out all over the floor. That's always interesting to learn. So, what do you think we put some dishes in this thing? Let it rip. Pause it. All right, so we've got a small load here. A um, couple bowls, a plate, small stuff, and then we have uh, some forks, spoons, and knives up top. And will it close? No, it won't. I must have... Oh, there it goes. Just didn't push it in all the way. And right back to it. All right, so... Now you notice it already flipped the bowl over. Oh no! So lightweight, those really lightweight plastic bowls aren't going to hold in the spot really well. So we'll have to see about that. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a learning curve on this one. But um, at least it, it was easy to install. And it uh, sounds okay. I don't see any water leaks anywhere. So check back with me maybe in a week or so. And Put a comment in there and say, hey, how is it working out for you? And I'll respond to you. Have a good one.